Hey, what's up, you guys? So, welcome to part three. Uh, continuing where, where we left off from. So, I'm threatening to connect to this black stone that you can see in this white stone that are marked. I'm trying to threaten to connect to the black stone and try and kill those white stones. But uh, I realize that, you know, here, let's play through it. Say, if white doesn't respond to that, play somewhere else. I connect, he connects, I tarry, he could kill. And I realize, like, there's so many like cutting points I could like that I could like, try and do, but the fact that um, that I don't have these these two spots filled weakens me, and I'm not like uh hmm what did they he the, like basically the fact that those aren't filled makes White have too many liberties to do anything in this area, which annoyed me like the entire time. Like I kept wanting to do something in that area, but I couldn't. So. I take that code, threaten him. Um, he plays this, which was weird. Um, I didn't find like much of a threat to it, and like, so I knew I'd have to respond, and I actually expected him to connect. But he plays this, and I'm like, okay, well, let me take this stone down here, and it ends up working out well. He keeps trying to play in my territory. And I'm pretty sure, like, okay, every time he plays in my territory, like, that should give me a point. But if I have to play inside my own territory to respond, then it takes away that point, so it ends up coming out even. So, basically, with every anytime someone plays inside my territory, I think, and I'm like, well, do I have to respond? Because if I don't have to respond, I'll just take the free point and wait for them to play inside my territory again. But I had to respond to all that. And then finally... So I can, so this code threat that he gave down here a long time ago, he tried to use that as a code threat, and he never followed through with it because he realized that that was a mistake. So you know I, I just connect here to dissolve that. I play this move, take Sente from him, and I take this white stone back like up here. Take that again, and. Uh, he tries to kill this black group, but, you know, like, I already went through that. I already showed you guys that in part one, I'm pretty sure. So, I have life down there. Um, here, I, like, I'm, like, again, like, since I said, like, if I, if someone plays inside your territory and you respond, then it ends up, like, they can, ends up canceling each other out. So, like, no one gained any points with that. But I was hoping he wouldn't play, because if I had played right there, if I had played E4, then I could have killed some of the stones, I'm pretty sure. I'm I'm assuming with this move he was trying to threaten to kill my black shape right there, but he I had too many liberties, so I just connected. And with this one, I'm assuming he was gonna try and kill these black stones right here, but then after I responded, he realized, oh, that's not gonna work. So it didn't matter much to me. Um, this move, uh, it's an empty threat. I I played it, and again, this is one of those. This is one of those um, code threats that you're not playing inside their territory, so you're not giving them any points. Therefore, if they respond, they lose a point. So you're taking a point away from them. And so I played that, and there's really no threat. If he had just, if he had just connected, I could have played this. And then what's, what am I going to do? What am I going to do with that? Nothing. So, but he, I guess he didn't do it all the way, or he was just scared. Like, he thought maybe I saw something that he didn't. So he responded, so I took this code back. And so after he plays this one, I respond to it, but you know, like I said, that cancels out. That's that exchange is zero points. The code that I did earlier is a negative one to him, which is a positive one to me. So after he played that, I was like, oh, well, this code that or this code fight's working out good for me because I'm gaining points. But then he plays this move, and I'm like, oh, well, I have to respond to that inside my own territory. And since his wasn't inside of my territory, you know, that's a negative one for me and a positive one for him. So combine that with the move I played right here, or right here, you know, they just cancelled, they, they cancelled each other back out. Uh, so, I passed, and that's the end of the game. Um, I ended up winning by 16 points, I think. 
it was a very close game, and I think the only reason, or I thought the only reason I won was um was taking was because I was able to take these stones here when White made the mistake, but I went back and when I reviewed the game with him, uh, I played I played it out the way it should have been played, and then I did the score estimate uh, tool that KGS has, and it actually says I won by two and a half points after even if even if White stones live right there. Um, because if white stones live right there, I think I ended up being able to get something else, or ter a little bit more territory somewhere else. But I think with so with this one, I went with I think 16, and the other one I went by two and a half. But it was a very close game. Uh, a lot of fighting, which I enjoyed. Um, so anyway, that's it for the commentary. Uh, like I said, uh, I found some pro commentaries, so I'm gonna get those and I can do those, and um. Again, if you have any video editing software that you could recommend, that'd be awesome. Uh, Christmas is coming up, obviously, and like right now, I have money, and I was thinking of going and buying a um, a microphone because like right now, I'm using the microphone on my laptop, so you kind of get like the white noise in the background. So I was thinking of going and buying a microphone uh, with the money that I have. But Christmas is coming up, so I need that money to you know buy presents for friends and family. So. But hopefully I can get a microphone for Christmas, so it'll work out. Um, but the only problem is that you know I have to wait till Christmas. So until then, I'll probably you know have the white noise in the background. But after Christmas comes, you know, start making better quality videos. I might even get some video editing software for Christmas, hopefully, because um, I've been trying to use free ones, but free ones are just terrible, and they kill the quality of the videos. But that's it for now. Comment. Thank you for watching. And also, if you want to give me any ideas for a YouTube background, that'd be awesome. Uh, if you go look at it now, uh, I I made that one, but it's very simple and plain, and it doesn't really have anything to do with Go. So if you can make another one, or just like give me an ideas of what I could put in the background, that would be awesome. Um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.